I'm not a huduma pastor. Mimi si pastor wa huduma. Tafadhali munisikie vizuri. Sishaenda kwa Morovita. Aba Robin wale watu naendanga na kuambia mambo yako na mnaachana anaenda. Anakuwekea spirit. That's what I want to talk about right now. I am a spirit filled ordained servant of God. Mimi ni mtumishi wa Mungu nimechazwa na roho mpya. Things the Lord will reveal to me about you. Kuna mambo Mungu atadhirisha kwangu kukuhusu. Instead of telling you I will pray for you. Bara kukuambia nitakuombea. There are things the Lord reveals. Kuna mambo Mungu atadhirisha. I come to you and I tell you. Ninakuja kwako na ninakuambia. I hold hands with my wife in our house. Nashikana mkono wangu katika nyumba yangu. And we say the Lord is revealing this about brother so and so. Na nasema kwamba roho anadhirisha kuhusu ndugu fulani. We pray for you and we never tell you we have prayed for you. Tunaomba na wewe na tusikwambie tumekuombea. And there are things the Lord reveals. Na kuna mambo Mungu anadhirisha. I come and preach them in the word. Ninakuja ninahubiri kwa neno. And you are like, "Eh, hey, Nairi, pastor was talking about me. Who told you?" Aje alikuwa anaongea juu yangu. Nani alimwambia? I'm not a robi. Mimi robi. Let me give this testimony as a warning to you. Wacha niwapatie ushuhuda huu kama kama onyo kuna mali tunachukulia na mzaa eh kama onyo there is spirit revealed to me about a certain woman here roho wa mungu akaonekana waziwazi kuhusu mwanamke mmoja hapa concerning some activities at nyamavila kuhusu yale anayotenda kule nyamavila you know what happens at nyamavila unajua kile kile tendeka nyamavila it shocked me ikanishtua i prayed over it nikaomba juu yake and over some certain time it ceased kwa wakati mwingine ikawa inapotea but again lakini tena i saw her in the same deep nikamwona ni katika hali hiyo tena i called her nikamuita i told her nikamwambia i just don't want to be your pastor sitaki kuwa mchungaji wako but i also want to be your father nataka tena pia niwe baba yako open up your heart to me fungua moyo wako tell me that junk niambie hiyo uchafu tell me that that is that niambie huyo uchafu so that i can pray with you ili nikaompe pamoja nawe i know what is happening najua kile kinatendeka my faith cannot heal you imani yangu haiwezi kuponya faith heals you imani yako ndio itakuponya truth sets free na ukweli uweka huru you empower it when you speak it unaipa nguvu unapoinena you must confess it on your lazima ukiri kwa kinywa chako she said akasema pastor is singing for me mchungaji ananionea You know what that means? Eh. is singing for me. Ana nionea. She went and talked about me. Akaenda kanena juu yake. And I said, okay, if I be a servant of God. Nasema kama mimi ni mtumishi wa Mungu. Let us give the time some time. Wacha tupatie muda muda fulani. Oh, she comes on a certain Saturday. Akaja Jumamosi nyingine. And she is like, pastor, mchungaji, this I have a man. Niko na mwanaume. The man you are telling me to bring to you so that you talk. Mwanaume ambao ulikuwa unasema nikulete ili kwamba mkaonge. Nimejaribu kutengeneza uhusiano na miezi siku misita. Ivoni mwanaume akakudeti more than 2 years toroka. Mm. Naambia kwa sababu wewe hujawalewa. Yeah. Toroka huyo sio mtu. Yeah. He has dated me for 6 years. Kwa miaka sita tumekuwa And he's telling me he doesn't trust me. Na ananiambia kwamba aje na mimi. The only way by which he can trust me is when I give him a child. Ni wakati ambao nataka niamini wakati nitapatia mtoto. So pass I'm confused. Kwa hivyo mchungaji mimi nime nime I can give him a child. Niende nikampe mtoto. You are asking me for permission to go and get a child. Unanipa naomba ruhusa ya kwenda kupata mtoto. Yet you are pregnant right now. Na ukiwa na mimi saa hii. Oh, pastor I'm sorry. I'm so na mama no to my choice make kwa kwa macho macho tu tu to my choice Musi ni swahili watu amunga mkaringa very unique ministry I want to be a blessing to Nataka kuwa baraka kwako Personally I'm working in authority Natembea kwa mamlaka There are things I just declare say it is well and they are established Kuna mambo wanasema ni sawa na yana So don't take that grace for granted Ututukujwe na hiyo kubure tu hivyo And she comes on church to church on Sunday Anakuja kanisa Jumapili And when the preacher is preaching Wakati mpira naohubiri She's like oh, oh. God exposes her. She runs out in the name of vomiting. Mungu anatoroka nje anakimia nje ile kwa kutapika. Then she leaves. Na naona. Let her on she calls me again. Pastor, mchungaji, I am tired. Nimechoka with life na maisha. Children do not have school fees. Watoto hawana karo. The house is closed. Nyumba imefungwa. I have nobody to cry to. Sina mtu wa kulilia. And the worst statement she used. Na hilo mbaya kabisa alitumia. The God I'm worshiping does not help. Mungu namwabudu anisaidie. Surely for Christ. How do you say that? Naweza semaje hivyo? Usimkufuru Roho Mtakatifu. Wewe unafanya makosa. Alafu wakati wa kuvuna ukifika, 
unasema ya kwamba Mungu na imuabudu hakusaidii only to be revealed again to me later ikakuja kudhihirika kwangu nyuma himaye the reason she confessed that sababu ilifanya akakiri kile it is not that she was tired with the church si ni kwa sababu amechoka na kanisa it was for reversive purposes ili kwamba kuchikinga tu kuchipitilia kuchikingilia tu because she had aborted the child alikuwa ameafya mimba and i had warned her in front of her and who is a member of this church nilimuonya akiwa na aunti yake ambaye ni mshirika wa kanisa hili i pray that you make peace with the man nikamwambia kwamba aende kwa imani na doesn't work na kama iwezi kutenda please bring that child to this altar i will raise it let her mtoto kwa mother wa utamlea we agreed on that tukakubaliana only to realize kuondoa baadaye she has aborted ameafya so stupid she tells me ujinga ukanambia pastor i pray mchungaji naomba you lay your hand on my stomach uweke mkono wako juu ya tumbo turn this child into a girl na badilisha huyo mtoto awe msichana because i've admired kali child i'm just giving birth to boys nimetamani mtoto msichana na watu wa fulana now after scanning you have proved he is a boy baada ya kuenda scanning ukagundua ni mtoto unamwaga damu now look at this angalia hili you've never known about blood ujagundua blood is life damu ni uzima that blood will speak against your children hiyo damu itanena kinyume na watoto wako and this will be the question na hii ndio itakuwa swali ni nini nilikosea mama mhm akaninyima nafasi ya kuishi kuna vitu wapendwa tunafanya tu at face value thinking that we are solving the current problem not knowing that we are planting what we will not be able to carry on our shoulders tomorrow tunapenda mambo tukifurahisha hali ya sasa kwa sababu ya hali tunayopitia pasipo kujua kwamba kila ambacho tunachopanda ni kila ambacho tuwezi beba hawa watoto wakitaka kuanza kuvuta bangi kesho ndio zitakapoanza kuvunjika watakapoanza ku drop out of school watakapoanza kushikwa na polisi wakihangaishwa hapa wewe utaanza tena kuzunguka kwa wachungaji niombe umesahau ya kwamba kuna damu ina claim haki yake ah tusimzoe Mungu watu wa Mungu amen tafadhali tusimzoe Mungu amen stand up on your feet with your bible simama kwa miguu yako na biblia yako